I'm in the process of making 330 bucket set for otters. And uh, I'm going to show you how I make these things. Most people don't make bucket sets with 330s, but I'm going to because that's what I have and that's what I want to use. It's going to be a little different. On a normal 220, you would just cut a notch where these springs would fit down in the bucket. Well, obviously you can't do that with a 330. But I like my opening to be as big as possible for otters. And that's why I'm using 330s here. So what I have is intersections where the corners are meeting. And I'm going to mark these four intersections on the top side and the bottom side and those sides only so I'm going to mark these and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark them just a little bit short so that the pressure of the bucket of the jaws inside that bucket will hold the trap in and hold it solid so uh, stick with me here and I'll get that done I'm actually going to turn the camera off while I do that so you can kind of see the finished process alright so what I did was I drilled holes where these corners intersect. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a jigsaw and of course I'll come up and then I'll come over and connect the other hole on the side over here. And it's important to remember, two things you got to remember is you're cutting out the sides, not the top and the bottom. And two, something I forgot to tell you, which is probably one of the most important things when you're measuring is to uh, make sure you leave enough space for your dog to move out of the way when the trap's firing. Um, that could cause some people a lot of trouble, so keep that in mind. Stand by with me here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this trap out of the way. See what's going on here. All right. So I'll cut this side out. <laughs> we'll go ahead and test this thing out.
Now you can see how that bucket stretched out to fit the Connor Bear. It's in there nice and snug. I'm actually got a spring in the way there, but I can pick this whole thing up by the Connor Bear. So <laughs> I could have cut that a little closer if I wanted to, but that was pretty much exactly what I was hoping to achieve by doing this. So uh, that worked out perfectly. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think of this. And uh, coming up here pretty soon, you're going to get to see some video footage of me using this on some otters. I'll be going out this weekend and uh, and setting these out. So stay tuned. <laughs>